two women who discovered that a mistake at a hospital, just two babies in the hospital, but the nurse switched them at birth and led them to grow up in the wrong biological families in separate towns, 20 miles apart, but they went to different schools and didn't meet. Even so, they said they had suspicions. Their mothers even had suspicion. But after 56 years, it's the truth. I was born May 3rd, 1953. I was born on May 3rd, 1953. 56 years ago, two little girls born in the same small Oregon hospital to two different families. But when the babies were being bathed and came back, something had happened. One of the mothers was heard to say, this is not my baby. But convinced to overcome doubts, each went home with the wrong child. So blue-eyed Deanne Angel, was the lone blonde in a family of dark hair and brown eyes. I had friends that would make, you know, say, oh, you just don't look like that family. And it was like, I'd just kind of brush them off, you know, and think, oh, you know, they don't know what they're talking about. And then they'd say, oh, you think, are you sure your mom wasn't with the milkman or something? <laughs> and I'd laugh. Later, Deanne would learn that her mother had continued to have doubts expressed only to others. And Kareen Reed, the brunette, grew up in a family that was blonder. As far as really feeling different, I didn't until later when I heard a rumor. And so it was that two mothers, Donna and the other mother, Marjorie, never lived to see the truth about the babies they never got to raise. And two women discovered at the age of 56 they had other lives they never got to live. And we are joined now by Deanna Angel Schaefer and Kay, Kareen Reed Qualls. And it's so great to have you both with us. Thank you. And Thank there you. are tears standing in your <laughs> eyes. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm, it's just, it's sad. Because? Mm, just think that I missed out on knowing my own parents, my own family. And Kareen, you said something that moved us all. You said, in some ways, you feel that you stole each other's memories, that you mm -hmm. have memories of kissing a dad, a mom, good night, and mm -hmm. being carried, and you can't give them to each other. No. I look at them and I feel like I've cheated somebody or, you know, that shouldn't have been me. Um, I'm glad it was. Glad? I mean, because I had a wonderful life. A wonderful life. We lived on a ranch and rode horses and... Well, I want to ask about that, because each of you had had wondered or had reason to wonder. You said you grew up loving horses, mm -hmm. and you didn't I know why, that. and then suddenly you discover mm -hmm. that your biological dad mm -hmm. yeah. loved horses. Right. He's a John Wayne cowboy. A John Wayne cowboy. Other things that amazed. He was. Me. <laughs> and you grew up cracking your gum in a weird way. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> nobody to chomp it to make it work. It. And nobody in your family did that. No, they were real quiet. But mm -hmm. suddenly, you meet Deanne's family and? Betty. Gum crackers. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought this was genetic? How yeah. could this possibly be? You even have gestures. Yeah, I move my hands in the same like way. My older sister. You've now learned this. We act okay. exactly I wanted, the same. I want to try to tell everybody a little bit more of the story, because you said that you had wondered, Deanne, you kept saying, uh, sometimes, it was just in passing. I don't feel like I belong yeah. in this family, but you didn't know why. No. You even said it to your husband later on that mm -hmm. you still Every once in a while I'd say. didn't feel. Now, you had stronger clues because your non-biological sister said to you at one point that your mom had confided in her that she was afraid babies had been switched at birth. Mm -hmm. I think both all the older sisters knew this from the time they were, because my oldest sister was 13. But it was a so secret. was hers. Again, I, I, I want to remind you. How do they keep it secret? They keep, and I also, can't keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> but I think people keep wondering too. We have to remember there was no DNA testing back then. Obviously, it didn't come in until the 90s. You never had blood tests to check if blood compatibility mm -hmm. would have revealed anything. And you were saying you think your mom's, at that time, it would have just not been thinkable. Well, the to question were, that this was your baby. The mothers mm -hmm. were always knocked out at that time, you know. I mean, they were highly medicated, so they at didn't the time get of the this, birth. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And and later on, when they had their doubts, it would it, that they were too they retiring. Couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be like today where you'd say, well, let's just go get this checked. Right. Yeah. You found out, as I understand it, because a neighbor 
went to a funeral and saw, standing at the funeral of whom you thought was your dad, somebody who looked startlingly like Kay Ring. And this is an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. it, it was a woman named Juanita, mm -hmm. your sister, mm -hmm. Juanita. I want to put the two pictures up of Kareen and Juanita. Oh. <laughs> Juanita, will you come in? Because again, this woman took a look and said they were switched. They were switched at birth. She happened to know both families. And what she called and, and said to your brother, uh, I think they were switched. I think I've mm -hmm. discovered this, proved this. Mm -hmm. And when you saw each other the first time, what did you think? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My husband about fell over. Was your heart pounding when you went to see her to see if this was oh, possible? Oh, I was scared. Yeah. But, I, but Juanita, you said, we don't need a DNA test. Look at us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. At, at that point, you did decide to go ahead and get the DNA test. A surprise to you when it came back? Was your heart pounding then? Mm -hmm. But when I saw her, I knew that she was the angels. Yeah. I knew. I said, I didn't even think we needed to do a DNA. Well, and that was before I'd met any of the angels, so I didn't know what they looked right. like. Yes, and the angels. But she kept saying, you look just like a right. twin. Well, <laughs> it, it, we should remind everybody again, because we've been so confused all morning long, yeah. but angels are the family name as well as the characteristics of the people <laughs> <laughs> involved. All right, I want to ask a favor. I want to bring the whole families in. Can everybody come in and just stand behind you all? Because you now have proven, oh, there you are. Yeah, come on over. Come on, wander on over. <laughs> You've now proven to us that family can come in lots of different ways, and you have decided to become one family? Uh -huh. Yeah. Absolutely. One family oh, of Swisters, we're, Absolutely. We're both unswiss. Basically, <laughs> the, the same kind of personalities on both sides of the family. Yeah, we just have a ball together. We just we have, have so a ball. Much I said, I'm so <laughs> thankful I came to New York with all of you. <laughs> yeah. And the hospital offered counseling to you, the two of you. That was yeah. their way of compensating. And yeah. you yeah. said, nah, yeah. we don't need that. Yeah. No, we're old women now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> women you know, of any age can yeah. use counseling. Yes. So, well, <laughs> but take a look at this everyone because it's an illustration of something profound about love and the ability to find each other again and unite and and why don't you leave us Don uh, Deanna I know you said your favorite phrase was yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery and today's a gift that's why we call it the present oh that's sweet <laughs> <laughs> a family <laughs> it was so great to see you, Thank you. Oh. so great to meet you Thank nice. you. Nice. Thank you for having us. We here. hope you have a wonderful time in Thank New you. York City. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and for more on this story, go to abcnews.com.